Mark, three on defeat, identical to Barnett last week. Really disappointing result. What's your thoughts after that? Yeah, a little bit of deja vu. Um, been punished for our own sloppiness again. And, we, you know, we pride ourselves on being tight and resolute. Um, Grimsby have got good players and you, you can't switch off. You can't be sloppy because they will punish you. And that, uh, that's proved the case. Game, uh, goals changed the game, changed the feeling of it. Um, and, you know, it was, a, it was a fairly even game. There's plenty of openings for us as well. Um, but obviously we didn't, we didn't take ours. We didn't show the quality that, that Grimsby showed. And ultimately that's what's cost us today. Um, you know, they're a strong side, plenty of good players. So um, we've got to use that to bring out the best in us. And uh, unfortunately we was too many, should we, shan't we? Uh, moments in the game where we didn't take control, we didn't seize the initiative, and at the moment we're probably a team that, you know, I've got to challenge the players to want to come out and be the person to make the difference, to you know execute that pass, uh, you know communicate effectively, you know take a chance, you know all, all small details, but you know adding up across the game have a big impact, and uh, we're not a million miles away, that is for sure, but we were just just a little bit off it again at times. Um, and, and, and being punished, and so and rightly so in this league. This league is brutal. I say it every every week. Um, so we've got to we've got to embrace it. We've got to lick our wounds. We've got to want to come back and, and improve. And we've got to continue to challenge the players, put them in situations in training, to replicate um, some of the failings that we're showing at the moment. Um, but the players have got to respond. They've got to take responsibility. They've got to seize the challenges that we're setting them. And, um, you know, want to improve and, and want to be brave. Uh, you know, I want, I'm looking for a little bit more bravery um, on the ball at the moment. Um, you know, I said, I think Grimsby technically just outshone us today at times and they made the most of their chances and their openings. Uh, unfortunately, we, we didn't. Um, we huffed and puffed. And uh, I think that's the frustration is there's probably a lot of um, times that we get ourselves into gig areas, we're doing the right things and it's just lack of execution at the end of it and it just sucks the energy out, out, of, the, out of us during the game. Um, so look, we've, we can't get too down, we've got no time for disappointment, we've got to keep being brave, keep wanting the ball, keep wanting to improve um, and, and that's always been our mantra and we've got to um, stick, stick to it now more than ever after a couple of disappointing results the last two. Um, so look, I'm interested to see the character all the time in the group and we'll, we'll certainly find out about ourselves um, in, 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 in the coming games and we've got to respond quickly. Of course, four changes made from the side that lost to Barnet and a bit of an eye-opening debut for Dylan in goal. How do you feel they did in their returns? Yeah, look, it's you know, good to get Dylan on board. You can see that he's a big, strong lad, good athletic profile, can kick well. It's a really tough game to come into when you know, we'd only met the lads yesterday. Um, obviously, windy conditions, um, a lot thrown at him, but he's, look, he's made some great saves, he's kicked well. Um, so I'm sure he'll be better for, for that game today. He's probably kicked off a little bit of rust as well. Um, so yeah, delighted to have him on board. I think he's, he, he certainly fits the profile of a, of a good goalkeeper. So I'm looking forward to working with him. And um, I said there was an, on the whole, we, there's some good bits in, in the game. It's the, it's the frustration at the end of the good bits ended in a little bit of a, like I said, an energy sapping, like, oh, moment where it, it, we haven't quite executed it right. And that, that, that adds to the feeling of frustration. I'm sure the fans probably felt that. And again, they travelled in their numbers again to support us today. And uh, we probably haven't quite repaid them with the quality um, that they deserve to see. But we are, you know, the endeavour and the fight and the, the you know, the, the organisation is there. But unfortunately, the lack of awareness and the lack of technical skill out there today wasn't wasn't as high as Grimsby's. I think you made that point there. Obviously, Grimsby are, are clinical with their chances, whereas us, we create ourselves in good chances and good moments, but we're not finding that clinical edge at the minute. Do you think that's the most frustrating thing for you? Yeah, a little bit, but also it's all over the pitch. You know, I thought we were, you know, too many miscontrols, too many people, lack of awareness, not knowing where the next pass is going. And that's... Um, you know, sometimes that's just a fuzzy-headed moment and we can't have that. We have to have a clear head. We have to help each other. You know, we've got to be having our own awareness, but we've also got to be communicating and helping each other along the way as well. Um, look, we're, we're a young group. We're learning all the time. Um, but at the same time, we've, we've got to learn quicker. Obviously, we went into the break 2-0 down, at, like I said, similar to Barnet, but... At the start of the second half, we did respond, brought James Vennings on and there was a bit of a difference in the play and we did create a few chances early on in the second half. Yeah, we certainly did. And then that's when you've got to take your moments, especially away at Grimsby. There's not going to be loads. Um, it's, a, it's a tough place to come. And uh, we've got to make the most of them opportunities. And, and we didn't. And we've got to make the most of our possession. 
which again, there was too many sloppy moments from, from our standards, too many sloppy moments in possession, too many sloppy moments in the first half where we could have dealt with situations better has ended up costing us two goals. Um, so we've got to get back to being you know, hard to beat and resolute and we've also got to challenge ourselves to be better in possession. Because of course you did mention it as well with the defensive style of play, we're looking to play at the minute just to sort of you know, see out the defensive play. Do you think that's the most frustrating thing? Maybe we've conceded six goals in the last two games? Yeah, for sure. Because we, you know, we pride ourselves on, I think before them two games, we were probably one of the strongest defensive records in the league. So we, we, you know, we, we know we can do it and we've got to get back to that. Um, like I said, it's not a... You know, we're not crumbling. It's just a, a, a little bit, a, a little bit here and a little bit there. But the, those small moments, those inches, those, you know, getting the right body shape, getting down the line of the ball, all those little intricacies. If you don't get them completely right, you get punished. And uh, you know, small moments add up and have a big effect in a game of football. So we've got to keep our concentration, our focus. We've got to know our roles and responsibilities, and we've got to continue to be brave in and out of possession. You mentioned being brave there as well. And credit to Chamber for the late consolation. He's you know but burst, burst into the box and Rangelov's got an easy tap in. Yeah, I think you know I think Chamber's gone on a marauding run and beat six seven players and um, in and Ryan's almost you know he's put it on a plate for Ryan. Chamber was going to kick it in or Ryan and um, yeah we again we showed that bit of individual quality there from Chamber and uh, you know, I'm asking for more of that now. I want to see more of that from our players because they are good players and I feel that they probably played. At times, we're a little bit inhibited today. You know, we, we've got to show more intent um, in everything that we do. And otherwise, you know, we don't want to be caught in them half-hearted moments. And there was too many in the last two games. Should we shan't be moments? And they're the ones that I said to the lads that haunt you and hurt you because it's that like gritted of teeth, like oh, in at moments. That if we just had a little bit more conviction, a little bit more intent, I'm sure we can, um, you know, show more for our efforts today. On a personal note, it's good for Ryan to get back on the score sheet and you know hopefully kick on from here. Yeah, definitely. Again, we've played him in a slightly different position. Again, a position I like him in. And um, as I said, we got down the sides. We we had uh, times in the game, but we just didn't make the most of them. But we certainly got some athletic profile. We've got some options. And uh, competition for places uh, is is there now. And now it's up to people as well now to claim that shirt, want that shirt and never give it up. Of course, we've got a bit of a 10-day break now until our next game. What's going to be the focus going into the game against Dover? Um, we'll we'll analyse this game first and foremost. We'll look at Dover and um, we'll, you know, we'll analyse what bits we need, we need to work on quickly, what bits we need to refine, but it's going to be built on hard work and attention to detail on the training field, that is for sure. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.